Hey plant friends, welcome back to Millennial Planter, I'm Marina. Thanks for clicking on this video. I think it would just be fun to talk about five plants that I'm struggling with. Um, especially because these are supposed to be like easy going plants, well most of them. So just let me know in the comments down below, can we all just like have a good moment to laugh at ourselves. And just share about the plants that you're struggling with and hopefully they're common plants like me. So yeah, let's just get into the video. <laughs> okay, so the first plant is something I don't really feel that bad about. It is a Pilea peppermoides. Um, I've heard other people struggling with this plant too, so I know it's not just me. Um, it was doing really well for a while. I had I got this in the mail around May. And I think it was maybe taken from the mom too soon um, because, I don't know, I just kind of struggled with it from the beginning. Then it started doing really well, but now I just feel like it's losing leaves faster than it's growing them. So you can see like this one already is just dying. This one here is dying. This one here has like a brown tip. And I don't know, like I give it... Um, filtered water. I bottom water it because I know they're susceptible to root rot. They don't like their feet wet. Maybe I should try it in a two inch pot, but like it's just declining really fast at this point. And I'm really sad because I wanted to like grow this to a big one after receiving it as such a little baby. But I don't know, maybe I'll just end up buying the big mamas from Home Depot. <laughs> so the second one is one that I struggle with quite often and I talk about all the time on Instagram and it is a string of pearls like I just I don't even know what to do with this to be honest I think I'm just gonna give it back to my friend that gave it to me because her string of pearls do really well at her house I've tried to wrap it around so I can make a fuller plant and have the roots grow um but you know I'm not even really sure what's going on there's no new pearls growing, there's no roots growing, it's just there. Every time I water it, I always get some rotted pearls, so I don't know. I I don't know. I guess I just don't have enough sunlight for it to just be happy and prosper, and it's just really sad. The third one is... Um, philodendron brazil and this one i just recently potted up from some cuttings this is from a giveaway that i won um and it's not necessarily that like i'm struggling struggling with it it's just that it took a while for them to root probably like two months and then they're not growing any new leaves this is a neon pothos i just thought it'd be cool to pot them together because i thought like it really accent the stripe on the philodendron anyways um yeah they just took forever to root and all the other cuttings i got with that giveaway rooted perfectly fine this one is just taking forever it hasn't even sprouted any new leaves and um i don't necessarily think that they need like high light they get pretty like bright ambient indirect light at my house I think I don't know but I feel like they get a good amount of sunlight and they're right on my windowsill so I don't know and that one leaf has just been there for forever it hasn't grown anymore it hasn't started to unfurl so you guys just let me know what am I doing wrong um, it had some good roots so maybe I don't know this coming spring it'll finally start to grow mm, I don't know my fourth one this one I just really need help with because there's not much information online because I guess they are kind of fairly new but it is this little variegated string of hearts I hope you guys can see that um I've had this for about a month and it has sprouted a little tiny teeny little thing I don't know if you could see that a little tiny little string stem thing um, but they just don't look happy and perky and like thick like they used to they're really just they look like they're dying but they haven't died yet and it's been over a month 
I saw on one of my Facebook pages that they like kind of like humidity and some people were spraying theirs and putting them in like the Ziploc greenhouses. So I'm thinking about trying that because at this point like anything, I'm willing just to try anything. I know this is like a tiny little thing so if I lose it, I'm not really going to be upset about it. I did get them for free too. I had a friend that was nice enough to give me them. Um, uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know, like, I know they're slow growing, but that one stem hasn't done anything. Like, it popped up, and it's just stayed there. So, maybe if I put it closer to my grill lights, because my regular string of hearts are thriving. Like, they've grown so much since I've gotten them, and that was, like, a couple weeks ago. So, I don't know, I've tried looking up care information, and it's all just very vague, so if you guys could give me any tips, I just took the roots out by showing you guys this. <laughs> okay, if you guys can give me any tips, that'd be really appreciated. Do they like humidity? Should I like throw them in my shower and let them soak up the heat? I don't know. I don't know. Help us out. And my last and final plant that I've been struggling with and we could all just laugh because I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. <sighs> okay, it is this, yes, a pothos. A jade slash golden pothos, yes. It's sad, I know. So I got these cuttings in, I got these cuttings in July from my cousin's plant and I rooted them in water and they were doing great put them in soil and that that's it I'm talking about this this is another neon pothos that I just put I have a lot of neon pothos and I just put them in everything but anyway so it started off pretty green so I thought it was just a jade, a jade um, pothos you know just like the regular green one but I had it on my windowsill and it started to turn golden which I guess just, you know, happens. So I know that it is getting a good amount of sunlight because the variegation changed. Um, the roots look great. They have no pest, but they've literally have only had these three, these three leaves um, since July. Like, I, I, I don't understand. I don't. I don't, and I don't know what's going on. I'm willing to just like chuck these right now because I'm just over looking at these three leaves. I put the neons in there hoping that something will happen. Um, because like maybe they'll just get some inspiration from each other and feed off each other's vibes and the golden pothos will be like, oh, you're growing, let me grow too. You know, I don't know, but like, who messes up on a pothos? Has anybody else not had a pothos grow for them? Is it just me? It's probably just me, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. That's that. <laughs> so, those are my five plants that I've been struggling with lately. And if you guys can give me any tips, especially about the variegated string of hearts, please, please leave them in the comments. Because, you know, like, I'm here to learn and gain more knowledge and hopefully um, all my babies can be happy one day. <laughs> and now that it's fall time, I know that's not really going to help either because a lot of them are going dormant. Uh, anyways, I hope maybe I made you feel <laughs> like a better plant parent because I can't even make a simple pothos grow. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I know it's been a while since I've posted. I recently started working again, so balancing my work life and parent life has been like really hard and has been an adjustment for me. Um, but I'm hoping to go back to regularly posting once a week like I was before. So I will see you guys in the next video. And thanks again for watching.